Well, after a string of problems with our tired old Cook Strait ferries, we're still no closer to a decision on how the government plans to replace them. And that is because before negotiating a new deal, the Finance Minister has to do some deal-making with her own coalition partners. Here's Jenna again. When the Aratiri ran aground in June, the shiver that was running up the spines of passengers spread all the way to the Beehive. Just six months earlier, the Finance Minister made the call to cancel the contract for replacement ferries, known as the IREX project, due to cost overruns. And still, we have no idea when or if any new ships will be ordered or delivered. Well, there has been a lot of consideration happening, and when Cabinet has made final decisions, we will announce them. That's because, as revealed by staff, the coalition partners are not all sailing toward the same solution. What are the three positions of the coalition? Uh, uh, there is no position. Nicola Willis admitting the conversations are happening party to party, still at the negotiation phase before it even gets into a shape that can be taken to Cabinet to decide on. There's no formal proposal yet? There Nine is, months on. There is a formal proposal and it's been discussed between ministers. They have wasted question mark, how many millions of dollars uh, whilst we delay. Part of the reason the mega ferries were cancelled was due to the cost of the portside infrastructure required. The cancelled ferries were to be rail enabled and one coalition partner in particular is big on rail. Would Matua Jones, man of the regions, champion of rail, ever let ferries be bought that weren't rail enabled? As I said, uh, we'll address that issue uh, when the rangate, when the Rangatira Winston Peters is back in the country. Whereas another is big on privatising state-owned assets and enterprises. Exposition has long been that we should have a mixed ownership model for SOEs like Kiwi Rail. The independent advisory group set up to find a ferry solution recommended Kiwi Rail should no longer run the Cook Strait ferries. If it didn't end up with Kiwi Rail, would it be a bottom line for you that the ferries remained in public ownership? Uh, no, look, let's just tie her. There'll be a host of options put on the table, but New Zealand's first commitment to Kiwi Rail is beyond so, capital. So an option is to have them in private ownership then? Uh, no, that's not what I said. No, no, no. But is there another public ownership option? Possibly. Is there another public ownership option that you were considering? Look, I'm not going to address any hypotheticals. As soon as we're in a position to make a public announcement about this, we will. Shane Jones has said there might be. Good on current commitment is to announce a solution by the end of this year.